Okay, so experiment three was washing of the hands. Um, and the purpose was to show how proper hand washing technique is essential to the prevention of sp the spread of disease. Okay, so what we did was each table got a soap. So bench one got dial liquid, bench two got ivory soap, bench three got it back down, and bench four I think had lava or no soap at all. And then each letter had its each um, specified amount of time to wash. So A right here would be 15 seconds, B right here would be 30 seconds, B, B right here would be 30 seconds, C is one minute, D is two minutes. And what you did was you had, you took a plate and you divided it down the center and you labeled one side before, one side is after. That's before you wash your hands and after you wash your hands. So again, you take three fingers and you place them on the plate before you wash your hands and then you wash your hands for the specified amount of time and with the proper soap and then you place your hands on the after side. So what you did was you got a result that looked something like this. Most of you should have had something that the before side was dirtier than the second side. So you had more back, more growth on the before side than the after side. But some of you might have had where your before side was actually cleaner than your after side. And so we're going to have to take a look at those results. So we, so your follow-up was to fill out this chart. I do want to make a point that the follow-ups of all the experiments are very important, so you want to make sure you do them. If you don't have the results of some of your experience, you need to get with someone else who does have the results and fill out the chart, because I'm in charge of grading it, and if you don't have the chart filled out, then I have to take off points. So just make sure you have something down there. Just get with your lab partner or something and fill out all of the follow-ups before you go to into the midterm. But anyway, you have to, for this experiment, this follow-up, you had to fill out this chart. And again, you have each table's soap and then each uh, partner's specified time. And so what you did was you did the before colony count and after colony count and you wrote them down. Now some of them are really similar in that like these two are only two away but what will happen is that the before colonies were way bigger than the after colonies and so they have the option of visible reduction and so you can make any comments you want to here so as you can see most of them are going to have a, re a reduced visible uh, a visible reduction of bacteria so like this one went from 1,000 to 60, this one went from 75 to 25, you know, it's all over the chart. Some of these have unidentifiable results, but um, so you just don't make a, a comment there. But as you can see, we do have these cases of going from 33 to 53, and then going from 71 to 200. So those are like the results right here in that your before count was less than your after count. So let's take a look. All right. So the takeaway from this chart is that you um, is that you need to wash your hands sufficiently because it does prevent the spread of um, dead bacteria on your or alive bacteria on your hands um, to others. So another another benefit of washing hands is that it does slow the evolution of resistant microorganisms by physically removing them and mechanically destroying them so um, that is the takeaway in that washing your hands on average does reduce the amount of bacterial growth on your hands so but let's take a look at why some of these results are weird so you have these things called normal microbiota or resident flora or you can also call them resident microbiota or normal flora you, any four combination works but what these are are bacteria or microorganisms that remain in the body no matter what I think there's a statistic that if you just count the hard number of cells in the body that 90% of them are 
not your own somatic cells or gametic cells. Um, that 90% of them by hard count are usually like bacteria or something like that, or your normal flora. Now that's not by volume, and so the volume of your cells is a different statistic, but we're not gonna get into that. The other type of bacteria are transient microbiota, microbiota, in that they are in, the, are in your body, but then they are removed eventually. And so that's like stuff on your hands in that there are bacteria on your hands and you wash them away and then they, and then they are no longer there. So if we take a look at your skin, it is very acidic and it is usually dry. Um, it's dry everywhere except for usually by these um, sebaceous glands or sweat glands. And so microbiota, your normal flora are going to be um, dispersed all throughout this whole entire sheet. Um, and they even go down to the depths. All right, and so what will happen usually is that the bacteria grow on your surface of your skin and then you physically remove them with washing your hands and you can see that in your results so you can see that that's that's what's occurring here that when you go from um, a thousand to sixty you remove those thousand um, bacteria from the surface of your skin and so it's like it's like if you have a bed sheet and you get sand all over your bed, you can just remove the bed sheet and you remove the sand from the bed. Um, now there are a little bit higher concentrations near these um, oil and sweat glands and so those are going to be harder to remove but because they usually live a little bit better but um, on average that's what's occurring and that's why you wash your hands. Now, however, sometimes when you have such dry skin or um, maybe acidic skin is that the bacteria on your skin die and they don't have the ability to reproduce when you touch them to the auger um, and so what will happen is is that you when before you don't have you have a layer of um, of protection from the a lot okay the bacteria on the surface of your skin aren't able to reproduce so when you touch it they um, they cannot reproduce on the slide. However, when you slow off that first layer of skin, you expose these bacteria that are living in the crevices of your skin to the outside surface. And so when you touch the um, plate with your hands after you wash it, it can get more dirty. And so that's what's happening here. And that before you have um, cleaner hands that have dead bacteria on them and dead skin but then after you wash and, re and remove that dead skin then the bacteria underneath your skin become exposed and um, are able to grow on the plate and so it looks dirtier. Um, again in this lab there was also the random fact that hospital acquired infections are called nosocomial infections and so that is an important fact, so make sure you know that for the midterm.